This is Barb Bookmeyer with Positive Herding Dog. Today, Sir and I want to talk about engagement versus distraction. So, first of all, most people are used to dealing with distraction training. And what that is, is where the dog is hooked up and responsive to the trainer while basically ignoring other stimuli in the environment. So that would look like the dog responding to cues while focusing on the handler or trainer. Maybe sit, down, stand. But usually you want the dog to ignore anything else in the environment, just focus on you and respond to you. Now when you do engagement training for herding, it's completely different. Now you want the dog not only hooked up and responsive to you, you also simultaneously want the dog hooked up and responsive to the stock. So this makes it much more difficult for the dog to keep their one ear on you and one ear on the stock. First, we're gonna look at me sending Sir to a thrown tug and asking him to stop, then asking him to stand and sit, and then allowing him to go get the tug. So he's pretty much focused on the tug which is what he would be focused on, the prey or the stock for herding. So this is much more difficult than me standing there with him facing me and just saying, stand, sit. Great. There. Stand. Sit. Get it. Yeah, good boy. That's very good. Yeah. So while I'm doing this training, I often will send the dog directly to get the tug. That way I eliminate them anticipating and slowing down as they head toward the tug. I really want them moving at a good clip as they go to the tug. Get it! Yeah! Nice! Hee hee! Very good! Better! You're bringing it back! In this training, I'm doing two, using two reinforcers. First, allowing the dog to get the tug. And secondly, once the dog brings it back to me, we have a game of tug. So I'm reinforcing the, all of the behaviors, waiting for the tug, sitting, standing, any of that. And then that's reinforced by him being allowed to get the tug. Then I call him back and the recall is being reinforced by playing with the tug. Sometimes I'll ask for just one behavior and let him go get the tug. Sometimes I won't ask for any behaviors. He can just go and get the tug. And sometimes I'll ask for two or three behaviors before I release him to the tug. Three. Down. Get it. Excellent. Excellent. Good boy. Very good. Nice. 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 This time when I ask him to stand, he actually sits. So I just give my no reward marker, okay, I call him back and I reset him and send him again. Three, stand. Okay, here. Nice. Three, stand. Get it. Yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. So as you can see from this training, I'm getting sure to target the tug just okay. as he would the stock. I want him listening to me one ear on me, one ear on the tug or the stock, and that is much more difficult than asking a dog to do these behaviors while they ignore everything else in the environment. So that's why, in my opinion, engagement training is so much more difficult for the dogs than just traditional distraction training. Those are my thoughts on distraction training versus engagement training and why engagement training for herding is so much more difficult for dogs than traditional distraction training. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and help me spread the herd.